This is extreme gardening. These Thai divers are planting baby coral. In the murky water, they swim against the current, painstakingly sticking them to an artificial reef. And these corals have a secret weapon. They can survive higher sea temperatures, which have decimated reefs worldwide. Right now, climate change is uh, killing a corals in these regions, particularly in the upper gulf of Thailand. So what we try to do is to restore the coral by collecting coral egg and sperm and then fertilize it. And then we raise them until two years old. And during the two years, we try to make them adapt to the rising temperatures. This is what happens to coral when the water gets too hot. Rising sea temperatures, pollution and too much sun can all cause bleaching. Algae needed to stay healthy is expelled, leaving them white and vulnerable. It's a killer issue. Between 2009 and 2018, 14% of coral worldwide died. Coral is being killed by human activity and climate change. And that isn't just a big problem for marine life, but also for the 500 million humans who rely on it for jobs, food, and protection from the sea. Growing a more heat-resistant species involves a kind of coral IVF. Sperm and eggs are released in these little pink sacs. So every night for three months, the team collects and separates them. This is about eight years old. The coral is then grown in a nursery. It can survive 34 degrees Celsius, whereas water over 32 degrees can kill wild coral. Scientists have predicted that in the next 30 years, if we not do anything, uh, more than 95% of the coral reef around the world will be disappeared. So it's quite scary. So I think it's time for us to do something seriously about the climate change. With the help of the Thai Navy, the scientists are also creating more artificial reefs. Submerging concrete cubes to attach their coral to. So far, they've grown more than 10,000. But if emissions keep rising, reefs don't stand a chance. If coral reefs die out, can the world survive? Very good question. I don't think so. Scientists around the world are now fighting to save our reefs, but a global commitment is needed to prevent a universal tragedy. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News in Thailand.